Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jewel. Recording. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to the Flat Belly Gummy Challenge Lifestyle. We're going to be talking tonight about ways to uh, get your belly flat and uh, have better nutrition. My name is Kathy and it's great to see everybody out there. We're going to get started in just a few minutes. And so um, if everybody wants to maybe take a moment and say hello um let us know where you're from and uh that'll give us enough time to uh get right at the top of the hour we can start with nadine hi everybody i'm nadine from chicago i'm excited about my flat belly <laughs> i love it that's right have you started um using the product yet yes i have and i've lost inches so I'm just staying updated so I can do better. Absolutely. I understand that. That is exactly what we want. So let's see. Lisa, hello. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. I'm from Maryland. All right. Maryland in the house. So we got Illinois. We got Maryland. Alfreda, how are you tonight? Hi, I'm from Louisiana. Hi, all righty. So we've got Illinois, Maryland, and Louisiana. Sarah, how are you tonight? See you out there, Sarah. How you doing? Fred Shelton, how's it going tonight? Hey, Kathy, it's Anita and Fred Shelton. We're here in St. Louis. We're on two different machines. because. Oh, I see you rooms. now. I see you now. Yeah. Great to have you guys here. Yeah, good to see Wonderful. you, Kathy. All righty. And then there's Maggie, my mother's namesake. How you doing, Maggie? Hope you're having a good night. Where are you from? I'm doing well. I'm uh, still here in Illinois. All righty. Okay, in Illinois. All righty. Nicole, how are you? Where are you from? Well, good to see you here. Better days. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. Where are you guys from? Oh, I'm from uh, Spring, Texas. All right. We got Texas in the house. Yes. Great to see you. Dr. Linda Morgan. How are you? Uh. I'm, I'm great. Thank you. Awesome. Where are you from, ma'am? Houston, Texas. Wonderful. To Texas. All righty now. Janine Thompson, I see you out there. Where are you from? Well, I might as well keep the train going. I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. 
Okay, then. All right. Okay. Texas is representing Michelle. Michelle, how you doing, Michelle Kamika? Hello, everyone. I am coming to you from Miami, Florida. Awesome. Okay. Our first Floridian on here. Peyton, how are you tonight? Welcome, welcome. I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you for welcoming me. How are you? I'm fantastic. Tell me where you're from. I'm from Albany, New York. Okay. All right. And Albany, New York. Wonderful. Well, welcome to tonight. Monica Broussard, I see you there. How are you? All is well. Thank you. Great to be here. Awesome. South where Louis are you from? South Louisiana. Deep South Louisiana. Deep South Louisiana, she says. Awesome. Well, welcome. Hi, Thank Nicole. You. How are you tonight? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Wonderful. Where are you from? I am from Arizona. All righty. Okay. So now we got us a West, um, West area, Midwest there. Wonderful. And then Gia, I see you there. How you doing, Gia? I'm great. How are you? Wonderful. You're in Illinois, aren't you, Gia? Yes. All righty. And then we've got, oh, there she is. I see Margaret Dorsey. I see Sarah Johnson. I think, Margaret, you're in Illinois, right? Elizabeth Ann Thompson, I see you there. Yeah, we're in Chicago. Hi, Chicago. Hi. 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 And Carmen Taylor, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm also from Chicago. Awesome. Boy, Illinois is representing. I think they're uh, uh, beating everybody else, but I tell you, Texas is representing there too, all over the country. I see Jewel out there. How you doing, Jewel? Hi, Kathy. How are you? You look great. I'm fantastic. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. And then there's Cami. Hello, I'm here from Chicago. Awesome. Awesome. Let me see. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Nina Femi, I see you out there. And Eleanor Hi, Davis. Kathy. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? I'm good. Good awesome. to see you. Good to be seen, sister. <laughs> Eleanor right. Davis, how you doing? Okay. And then there's Tina. And Linda. And I see Amber. Wilma, oh my goodness. Everybody's trying to get a flat belly, Melissa. What is going on? You're, yeah. you're muted. You're muted, Melissa. I don't know if she's ready for us yet, but is there anyone else that did not get a chance to shout out where they are from? I see Sylvia is on with us. If you haven't had a chance to shout out where you're from and say hello, go ahead and unmute yourself and say hello before I bring on our CEO. Hey, Kathy, it's Karen from Nevada. Hey, Karen, there you are. And I hello. see Eleanor. Hello, this is Eleanor, St. Martinville, Louisiana. Okay, now see, Louisiana is showing up. All right, Texas. I think Texas and Louisiana is tied. Louisiana. What was that, this Linda? Linda from Illinois. Linda from Chicago, Illinois. Oh boy! All right, now definitely Chicago wins with the most attendees. But guys, you can see that you're from all over the country, going for the same goal, and this is so exciting. It's really exciting to be able to work with my mentor who has really helped me in so many areas of my life personally and helped me grow in business but she's also really helped coach me in health and so you know we are so blessed to be able to have a leader like this and to to have someone that is so well versed and is so serious about helping other people that she has put this challenge together and and put the cookbook together and the everything together for us to be able to do this. So I want to bring on my mentor, a woman who is our CEO of Wakana. She's also 
a nutrition expert and really just about to become a part of Whole Foods Corporate, I'll bet. Um, <laughs> the CEO of Wakana, the director of the Flat Belly Gummy Challenge, Melissa Boston. Wow, Kathy, thank you so much for holding it down. So happy you were able to join us right at 7.30 to welcome all of our callers. We had a, a great celebration today for one of our corporate staff you know, their daughter actually turns 18, about to go away to college. So we just got back from Wheeling, Illinois. I mean, it was like way out in the boonies, Kathy. I, it took us like an hour just to get back home. But I'm just so excited because I wanted to come back so I can share with all of our amazing participants and some of our guests, some of the, the great updates for the Flat Belly Lifestyle. And for those of you who might be joining us for the first time, we want to share with you some amazing secrets that's going to help you take this to a whole nother level. So let's just jump right in and get started. So one moment, please. We're going to get started by sharing my screen. There we go. So now that I share my screen, let's just go over some of the basics. We're going to go through our disclaimer, and then I'm going to give away these eight secrets that I know each and every one of you have jumped on the call tonight to hear because you want to know what are our secrets and what are the steps to really achieving that slimmer waist and achieving that flat belly. In fact, let's go ahead and see who wants to hear these eight steps. Go ahead and say me in the comments so that I can see who's really out here today to learn these steps or maybe we can bypass them. If you already know, you know, all the things you need to do to take it to the next level, maybe we don't have to share everything, okay? So just go ahead and hit me in the comments and say me, okay? Because I'm gonna look in and see who wants to learn about these eight steps. And I also wanna take a moment just to say hello to all of our guests. If you are just joining us for the very first time, I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do so that you can join the flat belly lifestyle. And so first let's go ahead and kick it off by sharing our disclaimer. I'm gonna give you a few seconds so that you can just take a moment to read our disclaimer regarding any products that we might mention here tonight. And also too, I will let you know that if you are under a physician's care, perhaps you're under medication, make sure you talk with your doctor before you start any new health regimen, okay? If we can all agree to that, let's go ahead and kick it off. And so the first thing that I want to do is tell you how super excited I am because with this flat belly lifestyle, we have some amazing prizes, some giveaways. In fact, our grand prize winner will win an all expense paid trip for two to Jamaica. Who wants to join us in Jamaica? Go ahead and let me know who wants to join us in Jamaica. And all you have to do to win this trip is go ahead and transform your life. I mean, isn't it a win-win when you can win something as exciting as going to Jamaica? But we don't just send you to Jamaica. We send you there with five-star accommodations. And so you're gonna be pampered, treated like royalty. And the prize number two, it's $1,000. And prize number three, it's $500 in products and cash. And so if you're super excited about those prizes, what you want to do tonight is pay close attention because we're going to let out all of those secrets. Now, Kathy gave you a chance to hear just a little bit about me. If you want to learn more about my journey and how I really got started with health and wellness, you can actually find all of the information that you want inside the book. And we're going to show you how you can download that book tonight. And so let's talk about step number one. You know, we want everyone to have a chance to win this trip to Jamaica. We want everyone to have a chance to win some of our cash and prizes. And so what you need to do is follow eight steps. And so the very first step tonight is make sure that you went online and registered at gummychallenge.com. If you have already went online and registered, hit us up in the comments, let us know that you're already registered. If you're not registered, guess what you need to do? You need to go register. Not only do you wanna register, but you wanna follow up by sending in your, your measurements, you wanna send in your weight, your before and after pictures, send in everything. I mean, in fact, what's gonna help us determine who our grand prize winner is, the more we have, the more our board of directors who are gonna actually go through all the participants, and then we're gonna narrow it down to three winners, 
See, the more information we have about you, the more we know about why you're doing this challenge. And so you wanna just go ahead and make sure you go online, you, you get registered and you submit all of your information so that you can absolutely be in it to win it, okay? Now let's go ahead and look at a couple other items that you're gonna to need to do. And that next step, step number two, is you want to download our ebook, okay? You wanna download our ebook. And if you've already done that, great. If you haven't yet had a chance to do that, what do you need to do? You need to go to gummychallenge.com forward slash downloads. When you go there, you're going to see two different books that you can download. One of them is our Flat Billy ebook. So make sure you go and download that because this is absolutely a part of your success. If you want to maximize the results, you need to go online and download that ebook immediately. So let's look at step number three. But before we do that, let's kind of peek into step number two so that you can really see what it is that you're going to download. Inside of this ebook, we actually have eight chapters. I'm going to briefly just tell you a little bit about each chapter, but you're going to have a chance to download and read this full ebook tonight. So chapter one, it's going to give you a little bit more about my story. I was that ticking time bomb. See, I was that person who looked like I was the picture of health because I was very fit. I was very athletic. I was an all-star cheerleader, traveled to London, performed oh, on TV so when I was just 17 years old. Did a lot of great things, but guess what? I was one of those people that could eat whatever I wanted, had that super high metabolism and did not know that, that there would be severe consequences for those lifestyle choices. And it caught up with me when I was 19 years old, literally almost died, had a 50% chance of living or dying. And you can read all about my story right in our ebook. Chapter number two, it's gonna talk about you are what you eat. We've heard that our whole life. You know, you are what you, you eat. And that's absolutely true. Chapter number three, it's gonna teach you how to rebuild a brand new gut. Chapter four goes through supplements that we need to have a better gut. Chapter five, gives you all of our food guidelines. Chapter six goes through the approved grocery list. Chapter seven, testimonials. And tonight you're gonna to hear from real people, their results. And then chapter eight goes through recipes that heal the gut. And tonight we're gonna to cover just a few of those recipes as well. And so just to give you just a little bit of what's in that book, yes, we talk about you are what you eat. In fact, do you know that the average person is reported to have at least eight, hear me out, eight undigested meals in their gut at any given time? Oftentimes when we look at our belly, we just look at it as excess belly fat, not realizing that a lot of that food actually gets trapped in our system if we're not properly eliminating. And so tonight you're going to learn how you can detox that gut, remove all that excess waste so that you can get that slim waist and that flat belly. And we're going to let all the secrets out the back. In fact, inside the book, we talk about how we can rebuild our body, but we also talk about the story of the three little pigs. Think about your body in terms of a house. You know, whether it's a straw house, whether it's a stick house, or whether it's a brick house, you know, the stronger you make that foundation, let's say something happens where you get challenged, because we all know at some point, you know, we get challenged. And the question becomes when the big bad wolf of disease comes knocking at your door, what is it that your house is going to be made of? Do you want that house to be made of bricks where you're, you're a brick house? I mean, absolutely. And so we're going to give you the secrets to that because here's the good news. The good news is you get to control how you build your house. I want you to think about the term of your food actually being the raw material for building your body. Think about when you're eating a healthy diet that's filled with vegetables, that's filled with fruit, that's filled with all the things good. Think about what that food does to go to work, to build strong organs, right? To build your hair, your nails, to build your body at its best shape possible. But now let's just imagine someone who spends a lifetime eating food that really has no nutritional benefit. See, those organs 
don't have a lot of good raw materials to work with. And so we wanna think about that the next time you decide to grab some food, ask yourself, at the end of the day, what's gonna happen when I eat this, right? And so when you start thinking like that, it's gonna make you think a little bit different. And so step number three, step number three is you also want to download our grocery list, okay? So when you go to gummychallenge.com forward slash downloads, it's gonna give you those two options, the ebook and the grocery list. You wanna also make sure you download that grocery list and don't be intimidated, right? Don't be intimidated by those foods. It's always great to give something a try because you never know how amazing something can be until you give it a try. So make sure you follow up all those steps. What I wanna do real quick, I wanna check in and I wanna see who's with me so far. Who on this line right now has at least done those three steps. If you've done those three steps, I want you to go ahead and put a three in the comments because you've already went and registered, you've downloaded your ebook and you've downloaded your grocery list, okay? So go ahead and put a three in the comments so we can see who's already on track to absolutely having a successful program. So if you've done all that, let's go ahead and look at the next item and the next item, when you download that grocery list, it's also important that you start paying attention to those food items that are there because we really design them to help you rebuild that brand new gut, okay? There's a term that you're gonna learn about in the book and that term is called microbiome. I'm gonna say it one more time, microbiome, because every single one of us, we have a microbiome. And that microbiome actually has about 100 trillion different microbes. These are viruses and bacteria. These are different types of items that actually live within your gut. And do you know that inside of your gut, we can actually go out there and do things to put us on track. And so there's 12 rules that we've put together and hopefully you abide by these 12 rules. Because if you do that, you're gonna be on track to building a great microbiome. And so here's 12 simple rules. Number one, eat more fiber. Women, guess what? You need at least 25 grams of fiber every day. Men, you need about 35 grams of fiber every single day. So many people suffer from constipation. A lot of it has to do with they're not drinking enough water. So it's very important that you get enough water every single day, but you also want to make sure you're getting an adequate amount of fiber. And so you're eating your fiber, you're drinking your water, but also avoid those fake artificial sugars. Avoid antibiotics, avoid antacids, right? Stimulate your lymphatic system. See, these are just some of the ways that we can create a good home, okay, in which we live in. Because let's think about our body. See, our body is the most brilliant machine that you're gonna ever own. But here's the reality. It's the only place you have to live, okay? So we have to take care of our body and we wanna abide by these house rules. We wanna also eat a variety of fruits and vegetables. We wanna eliminate red meat and pork. We wanna eat more of a plant-based diet. We wanna reduce stress and inflammation with CBD. In fact, cannabidiol, CBD is one of the items that Wakana specializes in. In fact, our very own Dr. Rita goes through all the different ways you can actually just use CBD alone to actually lose weight. You wanna get plenty of sleep. It's important that you're getting seven to eight hours of sleep every single night. If you're stressed out and if you're not getting a proper amount of sleep, it's gonna be very hard for you to lose weight. You also wanna make sure you supplement. And we're going to go through all those great supplements that we recommend. So these are the house rules that we can all build good gut health. In fact, also it's important that we don't sabotage our gut. Sometimes we can sabotage our gut by having foods that we unknowingly actually are working against our program. There's something we share in the book called lectins. Perhaps you've never heard of lectins. Lectins are anti-nutrients. Sometimes even when we think we're doing everything right, we're on a healthy track, we eat things that unknowingly is creating inflammation in our body. And in our book, we go through 
the list of foods that actually create inflammation in your body. And these are foods that most people look at as healthy foods. And so it's important that you download the book, you read about all of these things that actually create more inflammation in the body. Now let's look at some of the other ways we get you know, our health off track. And that's by eating even animal meat or fish that might be loaded with antibiotics and other things unknowingly that we're putting in our system indirectly. A lot of the fish these days is farm raised. And unfortunately, when they're raising fish on a farm in water that's man-made, it's not where it's naturally going to occur in nature, a lot of times fish start to develop certain diseases. And to counteract those diseases, guess what they get fed? Antibiotics, okay? And so we got to be careful so that we're eating wild caught fish. We're eating pasture-raised chicken. When we do all of that, we're going to notice that our health will improve. And so the flat belly lifestyle is really designed to help you navigate the food supply because it's very tricky to navigate. We give you food guidelines. These food guidelines will tell you how many fruit and vegetables you should eat every day. And not just the same fruit and vegetables, but we teach you how to eat a variety. We teach you about different types of vegetables based on different things the body needs. There are some vegetables that naturally fight tumors. There are some vegetables that are really good for the prostate, really good for breast health. And so we go through the list that you know about cruciferous vegetables, your root vegetables, and the fruit that we recommend because even some fruit can cause you to gain weight, especially in the wintertime. And when, in fact, if you don't find yourself as active, but yet you're eating lots of fruit every day, sometimes people pick up weight just by simply eating too much fruit. So we go through all of this and more inside of our book. And so let's look at step number four. Step number four for success is make sure that you join our flat belly lifestyle group on Facebook. In fact, if you're not already a part of that group, you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of this group right here, but it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash flat belly lifestyle. That will take you right to the group on Facebook because it's very important that as you're trying to navigate this, you have a support team. You have people that are there to encourage you, to uplift you, to root you on, okay? So join the group. Now let's go to look at step number five, okay? Step number five is order your supplements. In fact, if you've already ordered your supplements, okay? I want you to hit us up again in that chat and I want you to put a five in there. Just put a five and we know that you have ordered your supplements, okay? And so let's take a look at our supplements. We're gonna look through our bitters, we're gonna look through our flat belly brew, and we're gonna look through our flat belly gummies that are absolutely so yummy. So make sure, again, that you follow step number five. Are you guys with me, right? So far, some of you have already completed all five steps. And if you've done that, great job. You are absolutely on your way to great success, but guess what? We've added some additional items so that we can really maximize this and take our health and take our waistline to that next level. Before we go through step six, seven, and eight, what I want to do real quick is go through some of the supplements so that you can hear more about these supplements because we know that supplements are absolutely essential for great gut health, okay? And so also, again, before we talk about supplements, it's, it's important that you read our disclaimer. Just know that we're not making any medical claims. None of these statements have been reviewed or approved by the FDA. And if you're on medication, guess what you need to do? Talk with your doctor, make sure you're healthy enough to start a new nutritional program. And so with that said, we're gonna jump into our flat belly coffee. So here's what's good and here's what you need to know about our flat belly coffee. So our flat belly coffee has something in there known as green tea extract, okay? In fact, this green tea extract has a substance that's actually known to boost your metabolism, promote fat burning. So this is an excellent way to really get that program to the next level. Our green coffee beans that are in this flat belly coffee 
They're actually made for, from coffee beans that haven't been roasted. In fact, they're high in antioxidants. They can actually help with lowering blood pressure and aiding in weight loss. It promotes fat burning and increases your energy. Our Garcinia Cambogia extract is known to help reduce the belly fat, lower the fat levels in your blood, lower cholesterol levels, reducing those triglycerides. In fact, it also has CBD in it, also known as cannabidiol. And for those of you who are not familiar with the cannabis plant, in fact, we're, we have two compounds that I'll talk about tonight. There's many other compounds, but two compounds. One is CBD, known as cannabidiol, and the other is THC. Now, most of the time when we have seminars like this, most people are very familiar with THC, and that's the psychotrophic part of the cannabis plant. Our products are not psychotropic, so you're not going to get hot. We focus on the healthy part of the plant, which is cannabidiol, known as CBD. It's the health without the high. And what's great about CBD, it actually helps to fight inflammation, supports weight loss. Do you know that inflammation can lead to insulin resistance? In fact, when you have insulin resistance, it actually stimulates your body to store fat. It inhibits fat burning. So if you find yourself where your belly is starting to accumulate a lot of extra fat that you're not used to, perhaps that's something new for you, and you think it's just a part of aging, just know that as our body gets unhealthy, we start to develop insulin resistance, and we need to have substances like CBD that can help combat that, okay? But in addition to our coffee, we also have our flat belly gummies, what we love about our flat belly gummies, they help improve your gut health. They help to boost metabolism. They help to control appetite while at the same time reducing inflammation because they're loaded with 25 milligrams of CBD, cannabidiol. Inside of our flat belly gummy, we also have something known as chromium. Chromium is an essential mineral that the body absolutely needs. When we think about chromium, do you know that it actually helps to the insulin to function properly? So it's another way we help combat that insulin resistance. It aids in weight loss. It assists the body in processing carbohydrates and fats. It helps with metabolic syndrome. And so let's look at one more ingredient inside of those gummies, berberine. In fact, berberine, it's a plant-based alkaloid and it's also amazing for its therapeutic effects on the body. Some of its benefits, it can help reduce inflammation, supporting a healthy immune function, helps to remove excess sugar, aiding in weight loss, boosting your metabolism, and reducing oxidative stress. The reason why it's so important for you to reduce oxidative stress, when you think of the body, the body is naturally aging every day. In fact, our body goes through a natural rusting and rotting process. I want you to think about that. It doesn't sound too attractive. It's like, if you think about a banana, when a banana is peeled, if you don't eat it right away, it starts to do what? It starts to literally turn brown and then it turns black and then it starts to rot. Well, our body is doing the same thing every day. And so what do we need? We need items and compounds, healthy food that helps to fight that. And when you can have food like that, it helps to reduce the oxidative stress that's happening inside of our body on a daily basis. And so let's look at our bitters. Our bitters are relatively a new concept for most people because they've been missing from the American diet. And so in Africa, you know, many of our ancestors, they were accustomed to having bitters sometimes daily as a way to really stimulate the digestive system, okay? And so when you think about the benefit of bitters, Bitters help to boost the immune system. They help to reduce inflammation. They help to control sugar and your appetite. They help to detox the liver. They help to stimulate digestion and improve your overall gut health. And so bitters are a really important part of our daily diet. In fact, you wanna have our detox just four days and you can do a maintenance once a week with about four ounces of bitter. So with our bitters, it's super strong, so it's not something you can actually take daily because of the potency of it, okay? So you do it for about four days straight. You can do it every quarter as a four day intensive detox, but just know as a maintenance program, you can also use about four ounces 
every week because naturally our taste buds are looking for something sweet. It's looking for something salty. And guess what? It's also looking for something bitter. And that bitter is actually what controls how our body stimulates the digestive system. And so we need those bitters in our diet. And so now let's look at step six. Now that you saw the first you know, five steps, let's look at what else we can do because many of you have already committed to those first five steps. In fact, if you've already committed to those first five steps, I know some of you already hit us up in the comments there, you put and you drop that five because now we know who's committed to the first five. But let's look at step six, seven and eight because this is really the game changer. These extra steps, for those of you who've been struggling on really how to not only lose weight, because many of you are losing weight, but specifically, you want to lose weight in your gut. You want to lose inches. You want to burn that fat right around your tummy, okay? So here's two things I need you to remember. When you're on the treadmill, or perhaps you're rebounding, right? Those are great exercises. Rebounding is great. We recommend rebounding. It stimulates the lymphatic system. But see, that's a form of cardio that's going to do what? It's going to burn calories. And so when you're doing cardio, it, it typically prevents you from gaining weight. So it's great to be not gaining weight, but we also want to do what? We want to lose fat, right? We want to lose that stubborn fat around our belly. And do you know that in order for you to lose that belly fat, it's important that you do what? You participate in a good meal plan, but you also want to participate in weight training. In fact, the belly fat is about 70 to 80% diet, but there is some work required so that you can get some resistance training. So whether you're doing setups, whether you're doing at the gym, where you're doing those setups where there's weight involved. Have you ever noticed when you go to the gym, a lot of those belly exercises has weights, why? Because in order for that belly fat to burn, it needs that weight training, okay? So step number six, if you wanna have maximum success and you wanna really get that tight waist, you wanna start incorporating some type of resistance training and you wanna do that at least a couple times every single week and you're gonna to start to see your results accelerate. So very, very important. Hopefully if you haven't yet started doing step number six, you incorporate that tonight, okay? And so let's look at step number seven. Step number seven is another game changer. Many of you have our supplements and you're utilizing our supplements and that's great. But there's a slight edge advantage when you learn this one little trick every morning that we do to achieve a super slim waist and to put our body in fat burning mode. So step number seven, it's called bulletproof coffee. And so here's what we do in the morning time. See, the first thing we do when we wake up in the morning, of course, you can have your water, you know, whatever you do normally, a meditation, but at some point, what you wanna also do is get your cup of coffee, but don't just do a normal cup of coffee. You wanna actually add fat to this coffee. And here's how we do it. This is our exact recipe. We put one to two scoops of our flat belly coffee. We put two teaspoons, and you can do one to two teaspoons of MCT coconut oil. And then we do one teaspoon of butter. You can do a vegan butter, or you can do some sort of grass-fed butter, and then a teaspoon of monk fruit, and then your water. So you'll put eight ounces of water, and you want to blend that in a blender. In fact, I like to add my water that's not burning hot, but like more of a, um, a warm, so you can be ready to drink it as soon as it's done from the blender. So we blend that together, we pour it in a cup, and then we drink it. And so here's the real magic, though. You don't want to eat this with breakfast. See, if you're eating this with breakfast, you're going to not get a, a way to burn fat. See, if you just drink this coffee after making it, and now let's say you wait about three hours. Wait until the body naturally wants another meal. Here's what happens, guys. This actually is what we call high octane coffee because it's gonna to go to the brain where the brain's gonna have a surge of energy. You're gonna feel just more productive. You're gonna feel like you can tackle your day. But something even more important is your body because you're depriving it of carbs, right? When you first get up, you're depriving it of carbs for a few hours the body starts to use fat for fuel. So now that belly fat and the unwanted fat we have in different areas, it's gonna start to become fuel for the body because you've deprived yourself of carbs. And so now you put your body in fat burning mode. 
And so when is the next time you should eat? Well, as soon as the body starts to say, hey, I'm hungry, you can go ahead and eat. But typically it's gonna take about three hours before you start craving. So for most people, after they have that coffee, it's about three hours later that they're craving something. And for many other people, they can go as long as four hours. Here's the real magic, guys. The longer you go, the more fat burning that happens inside of your body. So you're literally turning your body into a fat burning machine every single morning. We work with people that have thyroid issues, so many complaints of losing weight. They've tried everything. Let me tell you something, folks. When you have our bulletproof coffee, and if you do it exactly how I just described it, you're going to find you're going to have your best weight loss. And a lot of that's going to start coming right from your mid area. Okay. So very exciting when you start incorporating step number seven. Now let's go ahead and look at step number eight, because step number eight is that next little secret. But before I do that, I believe we're going to show you that recipe one more time for those of you who want to take a picture, but this is our recipe for the flat belly, the flat belly bulletproof coffee right here. Okay. These are your ingredients. Take that picture. And again, every morning, get up in the morning, have that coffee, and you're going to notice that you're going to become a fat burning machine. How exciting is that, right? So exciting. I I'm excited just telling you about this because I've seen the results. I've seen the success and I've witnessed lives change literally in just a couple of weeks of trying this particular formula. And so let's look at step number eight, okay? Step number eight. So this is the final step. And I, I say this step for last because this is typically the hardest step. See, everyone on this line, I know doing those first seven steps, those, that's gonna be pretty simple, right? The hardest thing for you to do is gonna be reducing your number of carbs that you eat every day. Why? Because when you eat carbs, your body wants more carbs. You eat sugar, your body wants more sugar. And so what we find is if you can properly you know, manage your carbs every day. See, in our program, we tell you don't count calories. But see, if you're not willing to count your carbs, you might wanna count your calories. See, the reason why so many people have to count calories is because they're eating a higher carb diet than what's required to lose weight. So you have to eat like a rabbit and you have to count your calories. See, I don't count calories. I eat sometimes, you know, more than the average person, but guess what? I don't gain weight. And I specifically don't gain weight in my midsection because I've learned the secret of counting carbs and not calories, okay? So when you start counting carbs, here's two formulas for maximum weight loss and fat loss right in the midsection, okay? If you want to drastically reduce belly fat, you're going to have about 25 to 50 grams of carbs every single day. Now, if you can do it for seven days, I would encourage you to try seven days of doing 25 or less of carbs every single day and watch what happens to your belly. Gradually go up to 50. And then our lifestyle program is about 100 carbs. And you're going to just see the difference. A lot of times people think that they're gaining weight because they're eating too much fat. And then people go on these low fat diets and they've proven that low fat diets don't work. See, they tried that uh, over a decade ago and they found out as they took more fat out of our diet, we ate more carbs and guess what happened? Diabetes started to explode. So we don't want to have a low fat, high carb program, right? That's going to increase your insulin. I mean, all the problems that we have starts because we're eating way too much carbs, okay? And so if you're a, a young athlete, let's say it's somebody in their 20s and 30s, at different age groups, your body can handle more carbs. You know, have you ever seen someone at 18 and 19, they can just eat all the carbs they want and their body just keeps handling it, right? But as we get older, our body can handle less and less. And if you're less active, you definitely need to reduce the amount of carbs you're eating on a daily basis. Because if you don't, those carbs get stored as what? As fat. If we're not burning off our carbs, it's storing them as fat, which is why as you eat carbs, your belly fat grows higher and higher and higher, okay? And that's not the goal. And so this is the formula. If you want to really take your program to the next level, I would encourage you to do what I just said for seven days. Do 25 grams of carbs per day, then go up to 50. And then the lifestyle program is 100 carbs. And you're going to see the difference. You're going to notice how fast the belly fat starts to shrink as you reduce your number of carbs. And here's the other secret, guys. 
Now, normally on our lifestyle program, we allow 25 grams of sh added sugars on a daily basis, right? That's what health experts say, no more than 25 grams a day. But here's the thing, guys. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to reduce that even lower than 25 grams of added sugar. And here's what I would suggest. I would suggest since we're now just four weeks away from announcing our grand prize winners, if you want to just take your program to the next level, if you want to ensure that you lose more inches around your waist, I would encourage you for the next few weeks, avoid added sugars and watch what happens to your program, right? It's gonna go to the next level by simply making that slight adjustment. And so with that being said, I do wanna make a couple of announcements. You know, if you are here in the Chicagoland area, we're doing CBD yoga on the beach. That's gonna happen on October the 2nd, I believe at 11 a.m. Fatima, Queen Nefertiti, she's going to be leading the way and she'll be getting out all the details, but I wanted to let the Flat Belly Lifestyle Group know first to join us for Yoga on the Beach. Also too, on Friday, October the 1st, we're doing a cooking, juicing, and smoothie demo right at our headquarters in Chicago, Illinois. So if you wanna join us at 11 a.m. and you can taste some of these delicious meals and more, come out and join us because we're gonna have a lot of fun that day. More details coming soon for both of those items. And so we just revealed to you all the secrets we put together so that you can achieve a slimmer waist and a flat belly. Hopefully you've got a lot out of this tonight and you can take these secrets and utilize those to help win the contest because I know many of you are competing and you are in it to win it. And I wanna just tell you all the best of luck tonight. And so what we're gonna do before we close it out, we're gonna bring up some of our great phenomenal testimonials some of our participants who've already started on their journey and many of them have already lost a substantial amount of weight. And so I like to just open the floor. You know, we don't really want to call on anyone unless I need to, but we just want you to feel inspired tonight to just share your journey, let the guests know what you've already experienced and just how the program is working for you. And so with that said, the microphone is now open. And one moment, we're going to put this in gallery view. Kathy, if we can put this in gallery view real quick. Wow, I see people saying they've lost pounds. Just unmute yourself, guys. One second. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is Gail King. Hey, Gail. Hey. So I started my... Um, uh, weight loss back when we had the original um, um, bitters challenge and I continued uh, along with this new challenge for flat belly so to date I've lost about 20 pounds and oh I, I've never been able to lose that many pounds and keep it off ever and my goal is to probably lose another 10 pounds that is amazing Gail oh my goodness that is so awesome we are so proud of you and hey listen Gail actually now works at our corporate office as well. And we've been watching you, Gail, and your amazing figure is just getting better and better. So keep up the great work. Thank you. That is awesome. <laughs> Anyone else out there want to share any experience that you have with the program? Hi, Melissa. Hey, Jewel, how you doing? I'm doing great. It is such an honor to speak with you and see you and just but you know what? You're going to have to get another disclaimer, Miss Melissa. Oh, sure. Tell me about it. <laughs> you're going to have to say, I, have, I finished my bitters, uh, and uh, you're going to have to say, responsible for my toilet and my toilet only. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like you've had some good success on those bitters, right? <laughs> yes, I really did. Wow. I really did. <laughs> so right. thank you so much for for all your phenomenal teaching and you just seem like you're just so free hearted and you're, it's okay for you. you know, I mean, you know, you're just being like, come and go with me. I'm going to the top, to the tip top. So I want all of you all to go with me and you're making it possible. Thank you so much. 
for sharing. Oh my goodness, girl. Thank you so much. And yes, we want everyone to come with us. So I appreciate that. And I know people on the line who've had those bitters, they can relate to your story. <laughs> because if you're suffering from constipation, if you know anyone that's had problems using the bathroom, guys, you need these bitters, okay? They can literally save your life, okay? So That's right. Yeah. Yes, yes. And it's not diarrhea. It's actually, it's actually coming from the, you know, from the top of the, you know, from your, uh, it's, 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 it's not really, you know, loose or anything. It's good. It's good bowel movement. And here's the thing, guys, you know, a lot of times women, you know, we don't always talk about poop, guys, but it's important to know about your poop, okay? Because yes. the reality is just what she said, you know, you don't want to have loose stools or diarrhea, but everyone should have a poop. That's about the size of a snake. It should fill up the toilet bowl, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not the reality for most people. Most people have struggled using the bathroom. And when you think about somebody with colon cancer, they always say with somebody with colon cancer, typically when they do an autopsy of their colon, there's like four and five years worth of rotting meat that's got trapped into the pockets of the colon. So eliminating properly could literally save your life. So that's an excellent point. And that's why you need some bitters to stimulate that and get, get the party started, okay? <laughs> get it started. So good stuff, guys. Who else is out there? Hi, Melissa. Oh, hey, Gia. This is Gia. How you doing? Good. Uh, I started on the challenge on the first. And so far, I've lost 15 pounds. What? That is yes. amazing. Oh, my goodness. I saw you on Facebook had somebody come into your house, I think, picking up some products, right? Yes. <laughs> you have that kind of success. They're all like, what are you doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to do it. <laughs> Good job, Gia. I am so proud of you. That is amazing. Thank you. Do you guys hear that? I mean, it just takes making a decision and following these steps. So who else is out there? I know someone else has something that they're just wanting I to share. I just wanted to say about the bitters that um, I found them very good, so much so that I just make a big thing of bitters, and then I bought um, ice cube trays, and I pour um, in two ounce little ice cubes, and then I just pop them out when I need them. So I just thought that um, this might be something helpful to other people. Um, it really works nicely, and it's very effective. That is excellent. Deb, you know what? You just shared something that's a game changer because so many times when people make their large batch, they're always yeah. trying to store it properly. You guys hear that? Put it in some ice cubes. Awesome. Now that weekly maintenance, you can just pop out those ice cubes. So thank you, Deb. That was amazing. <laughs> there was, and I actually bought the silicone one. So it's so easy to pop out just the one or just the two, um, you know, and I do them in two ounce ones. So sometimes I do four ounces. Sometimes I do two ounces. Kind of depends on how I'm feeling but anyway I'm glad I'm hoping that somebody else gets some benefit from that too thank you Melissa I love this thank you oh thank you so much and we're thank you thank you a good idea. <laughs> we maybe give those away for some some gifts guys because I love that everyone needs those ice cubes I mean you just that's a game changer right we owe you for that one okay <laughs> good stuff wow okay. see guys sharing is caring just share what you need to share if you got a testimonial we love it Hey, Melissa, this is Erica. I can share. Hey, Erica. So, hey, hey. Although I kind of shared with you last week when it was just a couple of us on. Yes. Um, so I started with the Bitters Challenge as well. Um, and I just kind of continued after that. Um, but I started out um, at one, what, no, at 207 originally. And I can't, honestly, I can't remember if that was exactly when that was. But I know what I started this year at 207. And then I was down to 190 something around the bidders challenge. And then now I'm at 177. Um, so I had lost 30 pounds. Um, and one of the amazing things to me, and I told Troy this today, and I think I may have shared this with you, um, you know, person living with MS, it's, uh, it's difficult for me to move sometimes enough to get things going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get things going. Um, so doing the bidders, I needed to do that because constipation was a big issue for me. But I told Troy today because we were going out celebrating my grandmother's birthday. And so what I've learned that if I can heat my body up enough, which I do with that rebounder, then I am good to go. So you talking about snake in the toilet? <laughs> Not to be gross, but it's, it's, it works. It works. Oh, awesome. So, But I know that the bitters has helped me to get there. So I appreciate it. And just eating cleaner 
it's just been great. And so I'm not, you know, because I used to go out and I'd be worried about, am I, you know, again, with the MS, a lot of my MSs are on here. Deb was one of them that shared that tool, uh, shared that tip. Um, sometimes we worry about going to the bathroom, being outside. I go to the bathroom all the time. And if I'm outside, where do I, ha where do I have to go, right? I know every bathroom in my neighborhood because I got to find one. Um, so it's just be good to be able to go before I leave the house and I don't have to worry about it. You know, so it's just been a light, it's been a game changer for me. I'm so much more energetic. I actually go downstairs. I didn't before I didn't go from my top of my townhouse. I didn't go downstairs in the afternoon. I didn't have the energy. I didn't have the. I just didn't have it. And so I would just stay upstairs and tell people to bring me stuff upstairs that I needed. I don't do that anymore. I'm cooking now. I'm back to doing stuff. I'm back to hanging out with my family. I've been posting things, Zoom, doing Zooms in the kitchen with my kids and my husband. And it's just been great. So I appreciate you, Melissa, so much uh, for sharing all that you've shared. So thank you. Wow. Oh, my goodness, Erica. That is just amazing. I love to hear that. And you are just inspiring everyone. You know that. I mean, we're watching you now. And you're such an inspiration. I love your post on Facebook. And just seeing you just brings a smile to my face. So thank you. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. Can you see the, the power of just inviting some friends and just in, invite them to this new lifestyle? Let them learn. And just you never know whose life you can absolutely change. So sharing is caring. I say that all the time, but I'll say that again tonight. And anyone else before we close it out tonight, anyone else who wants to share just any update, any questions, this is the time to get it in, guys. Did Erica drop the mic on us, right? See, the mic is dropped. Are there well, some, hey, Janine? Hi there. Um, so I was kind of afraid to ask this question, but I feel like this is a safe space, so I'm going to ask. Um, I'm actually going through the process now for bariatric surgery. And I was wondering, like, with this, I know you said to talk to my doctor about everything, but um, would you suggest that I still use the, the flat belly gummies and things like that with bariatric surgery? You definitely have to talk to your doctor, but what I will say is even with the surgery, the biggest challenge is still trying to overcome some of the cravings and things that we deal with. And so our system and program is really designed for lifestyle, right? For us to manage what, what we eat by controlling it, given our gut, gut, gut health. So I would hope that when you talk with your doctor, he can properly guide you. I do know we do have a lot of weight loss medical doctors who are a part of Wakana as well. So if you do need to talk with our medical board, who may want to then have a conversation with your doctor, if he's not clear or has any questions or concerns, I know our medical team would be more than happy to connect with them. And so um, if you don't have Dr. Rita's information, make sure to email RitaMD at Wakana.com. Rita okay. MD, and she would be happy to either answer the question or connect you with one of our weight loss medical doctors who I know have had a lot of experience in where you're at right now. Mm -hmm. It would definitely ensure you get the support that you need. But that was a great question. I, I, I imagine that, yes, it would be very beneficial for you, but I would love for one of the doctors to really help you out with that, okay? Yeah, because even with my classes I'm taking with the dietitians, it's right on point with everything that you've said about just that cleaner eating. And that is something I'm already putting into you know, progress now in preparation for the surgery because I, you know, this is only a tool to help me. Just like I feel that these gummies and the other products will help too, but I would definitely talk with my doctor. Thank you for everything. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for sharing as well. So glad you asked that question because I'm sure other people have that same concern and it's always great to get those questions out there. So appreciate you, Janine. Melissa. Anita there? Hey, Anita. Yes, hi, Melissa. Good to Good to see you. I had a question and I hope it doesn't come across wrong at all, but I wanted to find out, was there a reason that the challenge is only 10 weeks um, from August 1st, October 10th, I think it's just less than 10 weeks. Is there a specific um, measurement based on the products that's in the flat belly challenge that those products will be used in 10 weeks? I just wasn't quite clear on why the 10 weeks were chosen. Yeah, you know, we've done a lot of challenges before that typically were like 90 days. And we found that there was such a high amount of dropouts. So we thought that, hey, what if every quarter we're doing a touch base so that we can recalibrate, reset 
And what we find is then we get you to recommit to the next one. So that way you can get the proper time you need to reach your goals, but at least have some tech points in the middle. So we're not just on this long challenge where you got a lot of dropouts. And so we started it in April um, and it went really, really well. We continued it through July. And then so in October, that's the next time we have a chance to touch base at our conference, give out the prizes, but then we'll do another one leading to January. So if you want, you can really participate with us year round, but we really wanted people to realize it's not some radical diet. It's more of a lifestyle. And with lifestyle, once we show it to you, we would hope you would keep continuing. Because I know a lot of times you do a program and then what happens? You just drop out after you're done with it. And then many times we gain more weight. And so with ours, we wanted to just to kind of show this is something different. So we're going to have a touch base four times a year at our big conferences, but it's really ongoing. We want you to keep the habits up all year round um, because we make it fun. I mean, if you guys have a chance to see our menu, I mean, we can do pancakes. We do cassava pancakes. We do um, fr our um, waffles, but everything we do is with health in mind. We don't compromise on taste. So the taste is there, but we just really try to take everything we love and make it in a healthy way. And so again, we see this as a lifestyle. So hopefully that somewhat answers your question, Anita. It does. I was just hoping that the extra two weeks would be added so that because because I was thinking 90 days as well I was thinking all of August all of September and all of October I was just hoping that extra two weeks I could maybe drop a couple more pounds <laughs> well, you know what hey girl you never know where you're at and see what since we all have the same time you never know submit and you know it may surprise you where you end up on the on the on the contest so <laughs> well there are a couple people who are joining late so they're just kind of out of luck. They just, if they, if they don't join till mid-August mid, uh, mid or late August, they've just lost those two or three weeks. Well, you know, I would tell them to join because now they'll be in proper position for the October one because many of our participants who are really doing strong right now kind of started halfway through our previous challenge. So they'll say, hey, I did this then, but now here's where I'm at. It gives you time to practice, learn about the grocery list. I would still encourage them to kind of to come on board now don't wait because our health can't wait. Like if we wait, you know, every day, right? It, it's, it's sometimes for us, it can be life or death, right? We want to start now. We never know when the next day we have to live or breathe. So I would not tell them to wait. I would say, get involved now. They can start with their groceries. And then when the next one launches, they can go real hard on it where they can now work to, to try to win. Because obviously joining this late is going to be hard to win, but you've already won because you're on the right path, right? Okay, so you are going to do another one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Another flat belly gummy challenge. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah, yeah we're going to do something for the holidays. So it's going to be a little bit less restrictive because it's for the holidays. But we want people to realize the holidays are coming, guys, but this is not the time to go crazy. And then in January, we're trying to rebuild back everything, right? So it's going to be a lighter version of the challenge, but it's just something to encourage people through the holidays. Let's make smart decisions. So we're going to have some fun recipes we're going to share for Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas dinners so that we can really build a lifestyle. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Hi, Melissa. Yes, I had a uh, customer uh, today. She just started the, the Flat Belly Challenge today. Nice. But she was like, I, I just need to lose some weight. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> she was ready to lose some weight. I love it, right? So tell her, yeah, this is a great time to start. And yes. then in October, she can enter again. And that may, she might win the next one because she got, she's got the whole time, right? So good stuff. Love it. Love it. Anyone else, guys? That's it? Okay, well, it looks like we're right at an hour. So thank you guys so much. It was so amazing hanging out with you on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. I know Phyllis, who normally joins us as well, they're at some festival with a booth and they're having lots of success. I mean, they're selling a lot of products. And so, so excited for them. I think it's her and Shannon, I believe Terry and that, that group has a group as well, but it was great to have Kathy step in today for Phyllis. So thank you, Kathy, I appreciate you. And with that said, if there's no more questions, you guys have an amazing, oh, there she is. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Did you share with them your testimonial? I did not. I'm so excited, guys. Listen, I started, like Melissa said, um, right in the bitters challenge. And so I started uh, losing weight then, but to date, it's been 28 and a half pounds. My doctor 
the numbers guys got him so excited that he's now decided that he he's he's picking out his products and he's talking about upgrading so <laughs> he's excited uh about things he wants this video and that video he's ready to get the recordings of all kinds of stuff so uh you know what's happened is the medical community is getting more and more information out there and my numbers, my blood pressure numbers, my weight numbers got him so excited. He just asked me, what are you doing? And you know what my answer was. It was C, B, D. What do you want to know about it? And we got to talking. Nice, Kathy. That is awesome. See, you can go recruit your doctor, lose some weight, get your blood pressure right. I'm telling you. And listen, the, the checkup just came right in the right time because literally it was the night before my appointment that he saw an article on dementia and cbd and got excited you just came in and validated it and now he needs some cbd and guess what there you go <laughs> that is awesome well this is always amazing because you never know who you're going to hear from what story can bless you so thank you guys next sunday we'll be back again at 5 p.m so we'll get that information out there We'll have another exciting topic, so stay tuned to our Flat Belly Lifestyle Group. And with that said, thanks, everybody. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for everyone who shared tonight. You are all amazing. Thank you, Melissa. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Thanks for that great tip, Deb. Yes, right? We're yes. going to order ours now, Kathy. In fact, I'm going to be on Amazon. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> That's exactly right. Awesome, awesome. I did put it in the chat too. So thanks, Melissa. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you.